Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kandan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Magaling Engineering College, Kovil Vindi. I am happy to meet you again through the video lecture series on the subject Hidden Mass Transfer. And this is lecture number 211, and the module 2, Conventional Heat Transfer. And the topic for today's discussion is Free Conversion Problems. In the previous lecture, uh, we discussed the free convection correlations from the heat and mass transfer data book and uh, we solved a few problems on the free convection heat transfer calculations and this lecture also we continue with the problems so we solve a few more problems on the uh, free convection heat transfer and we repeat again so the steps to solve the problem in the free convection heat transfer so for uh, first write down the given data from the uh, problems problem statement and draw a diagram uh, to represent the problem and uh, find the film temperature and take the properties of the fluid from the heat and mass transfer data book. Uh, calculate the grass of number uh, which is uh, for the uh, free conversion calculations and then Rayleigh number which is the product of GR into PR and classify the flow. So the flow will be laminar when the GR PR value is less than 10 power 9 and uh, the flow will be turbulent when the, when the GRPR value is greater than 10 power 9. And take the result number equation from the heat and mass transfer data book based on the condition of the flow and based on the geometry. Then from the result number, you calculate the heat transfer coefficient H value for free convection and then calculate the rate of heat transfer Q equal to HA into delta T. Then finally, you write down the answers and this is the heat and mass transfer data book required for solving the problem uh, heat and mass transfer data book by C P Kodan Raman and uh, S Subramanian and this book is uh, I mean permitted in the uh, examination and we continue example number 9 a, cylinder, a cylindrical can of 150 millimeter length and 65 millimeter diameter are to be used to cool an initial temperature of 20 degrees Celsius by placing them in a cooler containing air at a temperature of 1 degree Celsius at a pressure of 1 bar. Determine the cooling rate when the cans are kept in horizontal position and to vertical position. And length of the can is 0.15 meter, diameter of the can is 0.065 meter and the fluid temperature is 1 degree Celsius and the surface temperature of the can equal to 20 degree Celsius. The properties of the air at the film temperature from the page number 34. So the film temperature here uh, 20 plus 1 divided by 2 equal to 10.5 degree Celsius. And we take the properties of air from the data book. So we have properties for 10 and 20 by interpolation we calculate the value for 10.5. So, kinematic viscosity is 14.16 to 10 power minus 6, Prandtl number equal to 0 0.7049 and thermal conductivity is 0 0.02516. Then the volume coefficient of expansion, beta equal to 1 by Tf which is 3.53 to 10 power minus 3 and we, when the can is horizontal, for horizontal cylinder, gross of number equal to uh, G beta d to the power 3 delta T divided by nu square. So, substituting 9.81 into 3.53 in 10 power minus 3 into 0 0.065 to the power 3 into 20 minus 1 divided by 14.16 to 10 power minus 6 whole square, which is 9 into 10 power 5. So, the Rayleigh number is GRPR equal to 9 into 10 power 5 into 0 0.7049, which is 6.35 into 10 power 5. The result number for horizontal cylinder from the page number 138, equation number 3.1. So, Nusselt number equal to C into GRPR to the power M, where C equal to 0.48 and M equal to 0.25 and uh, HD by K equal to 0.48 into GRPR to the power 0.25, which is substituting numerical values, HD by K Nusselt number equal to 13.55. Then the heat transfer coefficient is 13.55 into K by D, which is 13.55 into 0 0.02516 divided by 0 0.065 which is 5.24 watts per meter square Kelvin. So, the rate of heat loss from the pipe, from the uh, can 
this is cylindrical can. So Q equal to H A into T W minus T infinity, which is 5.24 into pi into 0 0.05 into L. Pi D L is the area of the cylindrical can and uh, into 20 minus 1 equal to 3.05 watts. And when the can is vertical, now we have to calculate the gross of number with, res with reference to the length, the height of the uh, vertical can, vertical cylinder and G beta L to the power 3 delta T to the power 2 square. So calculating 9.81 into 3.53 into 10 power minus 3 into 0.15 to the power 3 uh, divided by 14.162 in 10 power minus 6 square. So, which is 1.110 power 7 and the gross of number equal, Rayleigh number equal to GR into PR, which is 1.110 power 7 into 0 0.7049, uh, which is 7.8 into 10 power 6. And the result number for vertical cylinder from the page number 136 equation number uh, 1.2. So, the result number equation is uh, 0.825 plus 0.387 GR PR to the power 0.167 divided by 1 plus 0.492 by Prandtl number to the power 0.5625, whole to the power 0.296, everything to the power 2 and substituting numerical values, use the calculator carefully and calculate Nusselt number equal to 29.33. Then we calculate the heat transfer coefficient, H equal to 29.33 into K by L, which is 29.33 into 0 0.025166 divided by 0 0.15 which is 4.92 watts per meter square Kelvin. Then the heat loss from the uh, can once again. So Q equal to HA into TW minus T infinity 4.91 into uh, 4.92 into 5 pi into 0 0.065 into 0.15 equal to uh, 2.86 watts. Then the heat transfer from the can. When the can is horizontal 3.05 watts and when the can is in vertical position 2.86 watts. Example number 10, a horizontal pipe of a, a 6 meter length and 8 centimeter diameter passes through a large room in which the air, air and the wall temperatures are 18 degree Celsius and 70 degree Celsius. Find the rate of heat loss from the pipe by natural conversion. So, the wall temperature is 70 degree Celsius and the air temperature is 18 degree Celsius. So, length of the pipe is 6 meter, diameter of the pipe is 0 0.08 meter, fluid temperature is 18 degree Celsius, wall temperature is 70 degree Celsius. The properties of air at the film temperature from the heat and mass and data book, page number 34. So, at the film temperature, 70 plus 18 divided by 2, which is 44 degree Celsius. And we take the properties of air at 44 degree Celsius by interpolation. So, kinematic viscosity is 17.356 in 10 power 6 minus 6, Prandtl number equal to 0.6986 and thermal conductivity is 0 0.02784. Then volume coefficient of expansion, uh, the beta equal to 1 by Tf equal to 1 by 44 plus 273 equal to 3.15 in 10 power minus 3. And the gross of number for the cylindrical system for the pipe, G beta dq by into delta t to the by square which is 9.81 into 3.15 into the power minus 3 into 0 0.08 to the power 3 into 70 minus 18 divided by 17.356 into 10 power minus 6 whole to the power 2, which is 2.73 into 10 power 6. And the Rayleigh number, so which is GRPR, 2.73 into 10 power 6 into 0.6986, which is 1.91 into 10 power 6. And an asset number for a horizontal cylinder from the page number 138, e-page number 3.1, and Nusselt number equal to C into GRPR to the power M, where C equal to 0.48 and M equal to 0.25 uh, for the value for this value of the GRPR. So the C and the M value depends on the, the GRPR value. And HD by K equal to 0.48 into GRPR to the power 0.25, which is 0.48 into 1.91 10 power 6 to the power 0.25, which is 17.84. And the heat transfer coefficient is H equal to 17.84 into K by D, which is 17.84 into 0 0.02784 divided by 0 0.08 equal to 6.2 watts per meter square Kelvin. And the heat loss from the pipe, so Q equal to HA into TW minus T infinity, substituting numerical values, this equal to 485.9 watts. The amount of heat loss from the pipe surface 
by natural conversion is 485.9 watts. So the answer to the problem heat loss from the pipe is 485.9 watts. And example number 11, so a steam pipe of 10 centimeter OD outer diameter runs horizontally in a room uh, at uh, 23 degrees Celsius, take the outside temperature of the pipe is 165 degrees Celsius, determine heat loss per unit length of the pipe. The pipe surface temperature is reduced by 80 degrees Celsius, 8, reduced to 8 degrees Celsius with the 1.5 centimeter insulation, what is the reduction in the heat loss? So there are two problems, first problem bare pipe, second problem with the insulation. So length of the pipe is 1 meter, diameter equal to 0.1 meter, T infinity is 23 degrees Celsius, surface temperature is 165 degrees Celsius and TW1 when there is insulation added, TW1 equal to 80 degrees Celsius. Uh, properties of air at the film temperature for the first case, bare cylinder, so the film temperature is 165 plus 23 divided by 2, 94 degrees Celsius and the properties are 94 degrees Celsius, so 25.51 to 10 power minus is kinematic viscosity, Randall number equal to 0 0.6892 and thermal conductivity is 0 0.031608. Coefficient of volume expansion beta equal to 1 by 94 plus 273 equal to 2.72 in 10 power minus 3. And horizontal pipe without insulation, so grass half number equal to uh, g beta d cube delta t to the mu square, uh, which is 9.81 into, into 2.72 in 10 power minus 3 into 0.1 to the power 3 uh, into 165 minus 23 divided by 25.51 to 10 power minus 6 to the power 2, which is 5.82 into 10 power 9. So the Rayleigh number is grass half number into prand number equal to 5.82 into 10 power 9 into 0.6892 equal to 4.01 10 power 9. So for horizontal cylinder uh, from the data book 138 equation number 3.1, nusselt number equal to g into grpr to the power m, where c equal to 0.125 and uh, m equal to 0.333 uh, for this grpr value, then the nusselt number equal to calculating is 197.13. And we calculate the heat transfer coefficient H equal to 197.13 into K by D equal to 197.13 into 0 0.03160 divided by 0 0.1 equal to 62.3 watts per meter square Kelvin. So this is for the bare cylinder. The heat loss from the surface of this uh, pipeline uh, is HA into delta T which is HA into uh, A equal to pi D into L. So 62.13 into pi into 0.1 into 1 meter length, this 165 minus 23 equal to 2770.2 watts. When the pipe is insulated, now the film temperature is changing. So film temperature is 80 plus 23 divided by 2, which is 51.5 degrees Celsius. Now for the properties of air at 51.5 degrees Celsius, so by interpolation, kinematic viscosity is 18.103 in 10 power minus 6, Randall number equal to 0.6977 and K equal to 0 0.028365 and the coefficient of volume expansion beta equal to 1 by Tf which is 1 by 51.5 plus 270 equal to 3.08 to 10 power minus 3. Now we calculate the grass half number, grass half number equal to G beta D cube delta T divided by nu square, a substitute in numerical value is 9.81 into 3.08 into 10 power minus 3 into 0.115 to the power 3 into 80 minus 23 divided by 18. 106 into 10 power minus 6 whole power 2, which is 8.83 into 10 power 6. Now the grass Raleigh number, GRPR equal to 8.83 in 10 power 6 into 0.6977 equal to 6.16 in 10 power 6. And for the horizontal cylinder from the page number 138, equation number 3.1, uh, the Nusselt number equal to C into GRPR to the power M, where C equal to 0.48, M equal to 0.25, uh, for this range of uh, Raleigh number, then calculating the Nusselt number, HD by K equal to 0.48 into GRPR to the power 0.25, which is 0.48 into 6.16 in 10 power 6 whole to the power 0.25, which is 23.9. The heat transfer coefficient H equal to 23.9 into K by D, which is 23.9 into 0 0.028365 divided by diameter is 1.11. 115 meter which is 5.89 watts per meter square Kelvin. 
then the heat loss from the pipe with the insulation so q equal to q1 equal to ha into tw minus t infinity 1 t infinity which is 5.89 into pi into 0.1 into 1 into 80 minus 23 equal to 116.7 watts then the uh, reduction of the heat loss equal to uh, 2770.2 minus 116.7 equal to 2653.5 watts the answer to the problem heat loss from the pipe without insulation uh, 2770.2 watts and heat loss from the pipe with the insulation is 116.7 watts so reduction of the heat loss equal to 2653.5 watts now we take example number 12 a 10 millimeter diameter spherical steel ball at 260 degrees celsius is immersed in air at 90 degrees celsius estimate the rate of convective heat loss and diameter of the sphere equal to 0 0.01 meter and the wall temperature is 260 degrees celsius and the fluid temperature is 90 degrees celsius the properties of air at the film temperature from the page number 34 the film temperature is 260 plus 90 divided by 2 equal to 175 degrees celsius then the properties of air at 170 degrees celsius by interpolation so kinematic viscosity is 31.89 10 power minus 6 Randall number equal to 0 0.68125 and thermal conductivity is 0 0.03745 and uh, the coefficient of volume expansion beta equal to 1 by T of which is 1 by 175 plus 273 equal to uh, 2.23 in 10 power minus 3 and the graph of number for the uh, spheric sphere so G beta D to the power 3 delta T to the new square so calculating 9.81 to 2.23 in 10 power minus 3 into 0 0.01 to the power 3 into 260 minus 90 divided by 31.89 10 power minus 6 whole square which is 3656.9 so Rayleigh number is uh, GRPR equal to 3656.9 into 0 0.68125 which is 2491.2 so the result number for this sphere from the page number 138 equation number 4.1 result number equal to 2 plus 0.43 GRPR to the power 0.25 so substituting HT by K equal to 2 plus 0.43 into uh, GRPR to the power 0.5 substitute numerical values equal to uh, Nusselt number equal to 5.03 and the heat transfer coefficient is equal to 5.03 into K by D which is 5.03 into 0 0.03745 divided by 0 0.01 equal to 18.83 watts per meter square Kelvin. and the rate of heat transfer from the sphere HA into delta T where A equal to pi D square or 4 pi R square or pi d square so 18.83 into pi into point zero 0.01 square 260 minus 90 equal to 1 watts so the answer to the problem the amount of heat transfer from the spherical ball is 1 watts the example number 13 10 centimeter sphere is maintained at 120 degrees celsius it is enclosed in a 12 centimeter diameter constant spherical surface maintained at 100 degrees Celsius. The space between the two spheres is filled with air at 200 kilopascal. Calculate the convective heat transfer rate between the inner, from the inner sphere. So there are two concentric sphere, inner diameter is 0 0.1 meter, outer diameter is 0 0.12 meter. Inner diameter surface temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, outer, outer sphere temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, inner sphere temperature is 120 degrees Celsius. And the properties at average temperature 120 plus 100 divided by 2 equal to 110 degrees Celsius. We take the properties of the air at 110 degrees Celsius. Uh, the kinematic viscosity is 24.29 10 power minus 6. Prandtl number is 0.687. And thermal conductivity is uh, 0 0.03274. And the coefficient of volume expansion beta equal to 1 by Tf, which is 1 by 110 plus 273 equal to 2.61 to 10 power minus 3. And we calculate the gap length L equal to DO minus DA divided by 2. So, this is the gap between the inner sphere and the outer sphere. So, gap length equal to uh, 0 0.01 meter. And the grass of length based, uh, grass of number based on the gap length G beta L cube delta T divided by nu square, which is 9.61 into 2.61 10 power minus 3 uh, into 0 0.01 to the power 3 into 120 minus 100 divided by 24.29 into 10 power minus is whole square equal to 433.96. The Rayleigh number equal to GRPR which is 298.1. The critical Rayleigh number is 
we calculate RAC equal to uh, L by DO DI to the power 4 into Raleigh number L divided by uh, DI to the power minus 1.4 plus DO to the power minus 1.4 to the power 5 whole to the power 0.25. And this equation is very much available in the Hilton Marshall's data book. And uh, we can we can take the equation, substitute and calculate the Rayleigh number, uh, critical uh, Rayleigh number C, which is 0.95. Then we calculate the effective thermal conductivity of the air. So effective thermal conductivity equal to K equal to K equal K effective equal to K into 0 0.074 into Prandtl number to be divided by 0 0.861 plus Prandtl number to the power 0.25 into Reynolds Rayleigh number to the power 0.25. So substitute the numerical values, the effective thermal conductivity equal to 0 0.0195. Then the heat transfer between the constant is pure. So Q equal to K effective into pi into T A T O by L into T A minus T O. So substitute the numerical values, this is 0 0.73 watts. So this equation is available. All these equations are available in the heat and mass data book. And the page number 140, equation number 6.1. So you can refer to the uh, so, uh, 6.2 equation number 6 .2 for this sphere. It is available in the page number 140 of the Eaton Masters data book. You can refer to it and solve the problem. And the answer to the problem, heat transfer between the constant sphere, it is 0.73 watts. And example number 14, calculate the Calculate the heat transfer from a 60 watt incandescent bulb at 115 degrees Celsius to ambient air at 25 degrees Celsius. Assume the bulb has a sphere of 50 mm diameter. Also find the percentage of power loss by the free conversion. So the power is 60 watts. Surface temperature is 115 degrees Celsius. Fluid temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. And diameter equal to 0 0.05 meter. And the properties of air at the film temperature from the data book. So, Tf equal to Tw plus T infinity divided by 2, which is 70 degree Celsius. We take the properties of air at the 70 degree Celsius. So, kinematic viscosity 20.02 to 10 power minus 6, Prandtl number equal to 0.694, and thermal conductivity is 0 0.02966. And the coefficient of volume expansion beta equal to 1 by T equal to 1 by 70 plus 270 equal to 2.91 10 power minus 3. And the graph of number for the spherical system, G beta D cube delta T by nu square. So, substitute the numerical values, this is 8.01 10 power 5. So, the graph of number for the sphere is 8.01 10 power 5. And the Rayleigh number, GRPR equal to 8.01 10 power 5 into 0.694, which is 5.56 into 10 power 5. So, the result number for the sphere from page number 138, equation number 4.1. So, result number equal to 2 plus 0.5 into GRPR to the power 0.25 and substituting the numerical values HD by K equal to uh, 2 plus 0.5 into 5.56 into 10 power 5 to the power 0.25 equal to 15.65. So, the heat transfer coefficient H equal to 15.65 into K by D which is 15.65 into 0.029666 divided by 0 0.05 which is 9.28 watts per meter square Kelvin. And the rate of heat transfer from this pair, HA into delta T, uh, which is 9.28 into pi D square, uh, pi into 0 0.05 square into 115 minus 25 equal to 6.55 watts. The percentage of heat loss by free conversion is 6.55 divided by 60 into 100 equal to 10.9. So, 60 is the power of the bulb. So, the percentage of power loss by free conversion from the surface of the bulb equal to 10.9 percent. So, the rate of heat transfer from the bulb is 6.55 watts and the percentage of power loss from by the free convection is 10.9 percentage. And these are all the reference book I used for preparing the notes. So, you can refer to it for additional information and I have published a book on the subject. You can refer to it for additional problems on the free convection heat transfer. And if you have any queries, you can write to me to my mail ID. I will sincerely answer. Until then, thank you. And uh, after seeing the video, you pass on your comments. You can type the comments so that the comments will be useful for improving the presentation in future. Thank you very much.